Welcome to my first ever cooking blog. I am making blueberry swirl cheesecake, but the name of my blog is Schneider House Rules Cooking by Matthew Schneider. So blueberry swirl cheesecake today, and this one is made by Sally Baking Edition. So first, we have a mixing bowl, and I'm going to mix some of my ingredients in it, and we're going to be making the blueberry sauce first. So in the blueberry sauce goes cornstarch, right there, lemon juice, right there, and warm water. And I stir this until it dissolves. which we are good. Now, you take the blueberries and the sugar and you put it in a, set, a, set that aside, this bowl. And then the next thing we do is you warm the blueberries and the sugar together in a saucepan over medium heat and constantly stir for three minutes. Which I believe is this guy right here. And you do that, if you can see me, right here, you do that until the juices release from the blueberries. It's going to take a little bit to heat up as we go. So I'll let this sit here for a minute while it's heating up. And then once that's okay, and then I have my strainer that I'm going to have to strain every single thing out of here, if you can see me. I gotta get these juices going. Mush them. Keep mushing them in for three minutes. So that's the sauce that's going to be coming pretty soon. And all I can tell you is this is going to be a challenge because I'm not a baker. But I'm going to give it a shot. And I'm continuing to cook these blueberries until it's basically um, a sauce. I have to turn this heat up because the low medium heat 
It didn't really work. So I'm continuing. To get these juices. I'm not sure if it's supposed to just be pure juice or what. See, I'm just continuing to stir this and cook this juices and everything. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. And then I just added the cornstarch, the water, and the lemon juice until this thickens. Do this for two to three minutes. Which I just added the cornstarch, the lemon juice, and the warm water in with the, uh, the blueberries and uh, the granite sugar. And I'm making my sauce and I'm keep on stirring going to go in this small bowl with this strainer. As it's getting thicker, because it's supposed to be a sauce, which I'm about to show you right now. Here's the sauce. Right there. Which is absolutely delicious. Turn that off. Strain it. Use the spatula to get all this out.
and I believe to set this aside. And there, you get all the juice out. If you can see me over here, I'm getting all the juice out. You separate the juice and the blueberries. That is what you do to get this sauce going for this blueberry swirl cheesecake, which we're having tomorrow, by the way, for my mom's 70th birthday. That's what this is all about. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do my first cooking blog for my mom's birthday. Okay. Now... Set that aside. It's basically separated. That is my blueberry sauce. Now, the next part is going to be the graham cracker crust. Coming up in a couple minutes. I'll be back later. <laughs> 